Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn uh, how to use the null value for multi-value parameter in SSRS report. So we will create a simple uh, tabular report and then we'll use uh, a null value in our multi-value parameter. So let me show you query that I'm going to use. So here is our query that we will be using. It is returning us some records and one of the record with the region is the null and the rest of this we have the values for the region so we are going to create a sale report so we have sale first for sale person first name last name and some products sold by that person and then we have region so we are going to use a region as a parameter and we will use this one as multi-value parameter so let's go ahead and take this query and create our report so open ssdt sql server data tools and now in the report project uh, we need a shared data source uh, here so we have already created the shared data source so that's pointing to the sales uh, database uh, you can create a uh, embedded data source as well when you want but uh, if you are creating multiple reports uh, from the same database i recommend using a shared data source uh, now click on the reports and uh, add new item and here you select uh, a report it will create empty report let's call this one uh, null value and uh, we say multi value parameter reporter add the very first thing we have to do here we have to create a data source so we will be right clicking here and add data source so this window can be used to create embedded data source or this can be used to point to your shared data source so in our case we are going to point or use as a reference so we'll be using sales that's our shared data source now you go ahead and provide some reasonable name so ds sales is a reasonable name for us hit ok next part we will be creating a data set data set is a result set returned by the query or a store procedure so here we are going to call this one d set and we call it sales total now we will be using this one as embedded so go ahead and select the data source and paste it here now once uh, you paste your query here let's uh, create a parameter so we have to do one thing we'll say where region in and then we say at the rate region name so that's our parameter name first of all you will be saying with after where you will be providing uh, the field name in our case it's region so we provided that one and then we have to say in and then have the parentheses uh, uh, around our parameter so this is this is multi-value parameter so if we provide multi-value to this parameter then our query should be able to handle that we are all good here right click here and then uh, get uh, the table so let's get some uh, fields from here so first name last name product name and then one more field i want to get is region so now we are good let's move this one on this side remove this column we don't need that and now we can go ahead and uh, make our report a little fancy and uh, here this is looking good click here and bold and the background color so you change that one and now preview the report uh, our report is uh, looking good uh, this warning is coming from other reports so don't worry about that i will fix that and uh, here we have to provide the parameter value now we can go ahead and provide asia and uh, if you guys take a look uh, we are getting uh, Asia results um, even uh, if I will go ahead and say Europe uh, let's see if uh, this work uh, so now you can see that uh, this is not accepting a uh, multi values uh, because uh, this uh, parameter is defined uh, as of now is the single value so we have to make some changes uh, to accept uh, multi values uh, so let's go to the design go to the parameter and uh, right click go to properties and then here we have to say allow multiple values once we do that we can hit ok come back here and now we can go ahead and write we say Asia and then we have to put Europe and now we are good preview the report it should bring us some results from both regions so now it is bringing us Asia and Europe results and accepting multiple values this is great but every time we have to type it and sometimes we do make mistakes so especially in my case we have three regions by and think about a customer name or some other parameter that there are chances you will make mistakes when you write a list of customers here so why not use a drop down to provide the values now let's go back to the parameter and then the very first thing what we want to do 
let me come back actually to the preview and one of the values if you guys remember we have in the table is the null so first of all we want to see if we pass the null value to the parameter what happened so let's go ahead and uh, open it here we say write null and uh, now we uh, re uh, view report uh, but it did not return us anything this null what we have written here is the string it's not the null uh, that we use in the table so it is a string value and uh, that's why it did not uh, return us uh, anything so we have to do some tricks here first of all one thing we notice here in the parameters uh, we are if we go to parameter is saying allow null value so maybe this is what we are not using and that's why our null is not working so why not uh, click here and say okay so when we do it uh, uh, accept or allow null values it is saying okay your multi-value parameter cannot include uh, null values so that that's really kind of limitation we have null values why not to use it and how to use it so anyways uh, this limit uh, this part is gone so we have to come up uh, with some trick so next part what i would like to do i'm going to create actually a data set provide the drop down for the region name and then we are going to handle the null so let's go back here double click sorry right click and say d region d region and uh, let's uh, use this one embedded data set and now we say select distinct region from dbo sale total or total sale actually let me take a look on the table name so we have total sale that's correct and uh, one more time i would like to tell you guys here if uh, uh, i'm going to take this query as well and i will show you in the ssms what happened so if you run this query you are getting four values so now let's go back here and say okay and uh, here we will be going to the parameter properties and providing uh, that values to the parameter so we say available values and here we'll say get values from the query and uh, this is d region so get the values uh, from the data region uh, data set region so region and label is also region so label is uh, the part you want to show in the drop down and value is the actual value of that uh, that will show go to the query so in this case uh, we have a um, label and region is the same column so we can use that one hit okay now we go ahead and take a look and here uh, we have asia europe and north america there is no null value coming here so what happened when we run the query in the ssms uh, yes it has uh, the four values it has the null but uh, in the report uh, it is not showing those results uh, uh, especially the null values not coming here even we are setting the or getting the values from the region uh, data set so that, that that's a problem right because in the multi-value when you have set the multi-value report does not uh, support null so it did not even show the null so that's fine we understand now okay so let's go ahead and uh, check some of the values and we can see all of the values and their results are coming fine but uh, we still couldn't figure out how to use the null so one thing we want to do here we want to go back to the d region that's our parameter values and here how about if we convert this to some value if i will say is null if my region is null give me something like close to null so i will say okay give me this uh, null so if you guys see here i'm using uh, this one as a string value so i have put single quotes around it so it's a value now so it's not the null it is the string null so it's literally like it's uh, your name you write in the string and uh, it's not equ equal to null this is just to, sh to show you so we are kind of tricking it so it's not actual null it's say null but it is a string value so hit okay let's uh, give say as a region otherwise it will complain now we are okay and go to preview and uh, now we in the drop down we see the null and we see other values as well so let's uh, run our report uh, and we see that uh, we uh, we can see all the records uh, but one of the record where region was null uh, that's not showing them so still uh, we did uh, or we were able to provide null value from the parameter but that's not ha handled in actual uh, query so we are going to go ahead and uh, take a look on that one so now go to the main data set uh, and double click here and say okay when uh, now in the parameter we know that uh, the parameter is going to be asia europe north america or a string null uh, that we have a, a value if uh, 
I'm, I'm comparing on this side, right? If I will use the same expression here, say is null, comma, and uh, when the region uh, is uh, null, uh, I want to handle or I want to replace with the, this uh, string. So I want to replace with this uh, null string. So you can write even um, uh, arm error, you can write anything, but in our case, we want to show the null in the drop down. That's why we are writing a null string here. So this is it. Now we go ahead and take a look go ahead and select the values and we are able to get that record john smith uh, sold the tv and the value is a uh, null here now one thing we do not see the null uh, value here nulls will be converted to blank space in the ssrs so if you are interested or your company want to sh show something na or maybe just the null word itself we have to write some expressions let's go to the design and let me show you real quick so right click here and go to the expressions uh, and here we'll be using uh, some if if statement so we say if uh, else uh, kind of thing so here we say i i if uh, that's going to work like if else uh, and here let's do uh, i i f now i'm saying if this value is nothing that means it's null is nothing then do what i can go ahead and provide uh, the null here so i can write na or i can write the uh, string null here comma if uh, there is a value then uh, I want the value so I want this uh, value if there is no value I want uh, null and otherwise uh, I want the value hit ok preview the report uh, run the report and uh, now you see that uh, the uh, everything is coming just fine uh, and uh, we see that uh, uh, okay, the last value is uh, null. Now, maybe we want to color this one as a blue or something that will make more sense. Okay, this is null and it is different from others. Uh, so let's go back uh, to the uh, cell uh, here and uh, press F4. That will take us to the properties. And now we can go to the font uh, and uh, here is the color is black. Uh, so I'm going to click here, go to the expressions. Uh, and in the expression, I'm going to use the same expressions. Uh, so remember, we want to say check I if. Uh, so if uh, our field, uh, let's say region, uh, is nothing, uh, so if uh, this field is nothing, what I want to do, I want to have this font uh, as uh, blue. Okay, if uh, that's not right, so if there is a value, then I want the black. So that's how I'm writing my expressions. If this uh, expression is true this is what going to happen and if not true for false this is good this part is going to be displayed or run so now if the color if there is no value we want to display blue as we have already replaced that value with the null so our null should be coming with the blue and if there is a value i want the black color for that font so hit ok go back here and then let's select everything now we see that all the values are coming correct and the last value is coming as null we can see that and it is a blue so that's how you will be creating a, a multi value parameter and able to pass the null value in the drop down thanks very much for watching this video and I'm, i will see you guys in the next video